friends, this is Deepa Suresh. Welcome back. And today we are going to see how to make golden paneer bites or paneer nuggets. Simple ingredients. These paneer nuggets are very quick and easy to make. Just 3 minutes and they are simply awesome. So you can either make it as an evening snack for your kids or as a party appetizer. So let's get started. Here goes the ingredient list. You will need 3 tablespoons of corn flour, salt to taste, quarter teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder, quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder, quarter teaspoon of pepper powder, water to make a batter, and here I have 10 paneer cubes. So just cut your paneer into small cubes like this. I have taken 10 paneer cubes and quarter cup of breadcrumbs. Now into your bowl add corn flour, salt and all other spices like garlic powder, onion powder, garam masala powder and pepper powder. So mix the spices with this corn flour. Make sure well. And transfer half portion of this flour mixture into another bowl that is around one and a half tablespoons. And now to one portion of this flour mixture add water and mix it well to make a lump free batter. Now add your pani cubes into this batter and mix it well to ensure that they are coated well. And uh, now Transfer those pani cubes into with this dry flour and mix it well. So you have to be sure that these pani cubes are coated well with this dry flour. Once you are done with it, transfer all those pani cubes back into the remaining batter and mix it well once again. Now, it's a very interesting part and my favorite part too that is rolling them in the breadcrumbs. So take your pani cubes one by one and roll them up in this breadcrumbs. So you have to be sure that your pani cubes are coated well with this breadcrumbs. That way you will get a crispy and crunchy pani nuggets. So I have rolled all of the pani cubes in this breadcrumbs and now they are ready for deep frying. So here I have an oil which is already hot. I'm just going to drop one by one into this. So once you are done adding all pane cubes into oil, don't mix it immediately. Just wait for 30 to 40 seconds because if you mix it immediately, it will make the breadcrumbs to uh, come off from the pane cubes and you will not get a perfect uh, coated pane nuggets. So just wait for 30 to 40 seconds and then you may use a ladle to mix or flip so that they are getting cooked evenly. So once you see your pane cubes turn into a nice golden brown color like this, strain them from oil and transfer into a paper towel. So you can see how perfect they are cooked outside. And once they absorb all the excess oil in your golden paneer bites are ready to serve. So you could serve this with your favorite sauce or ketchup or even you could prefer a fresh green chutney to serve along with it. They are simply awesome. This is very quick and easy to make and I recommend you guys to try it. Kate is already started enjoying this pane nuggets. Now it's your turn. Buy pane today and make it as evening snack for your kids. And I'm sure definitely they are going to enjoy it. And I hope you guys really enjoy this and find it helpful. If so, please hit on the thumbs up button and subscribe to Deep's Kitchen to enjoy more quick and recipes in future. I will catch you guys soon with another interesting video. Bye bye.